I could not resist standing in the Garth this beautiful morning in this astounding week. I was drawn to return here. I passed it on my way in, as most of us do when we enter Riverside from Claremont. It's gated, and few of us actually ever go inside and walk on the grass, or smell the flowers, or get a close-up view of the structure, Madonna and child, sitting peacefully, watching us, watching over us. The family of George Floyd got a measure of relief, a satisfaction, perhaps, when the murder of their son resulted in a conviction of a police officer. They did not have to suffer the irreconcilable rage of both the loss of a loved one and the refusal of our society to hold anyone accountable for the loss. So much work remains to be done. We can't do it if we don't stop now and then to smell the roses or the tulips here in the Garth. We can't do it well if we don't stop to celebrate spring, resurrection, new life. We've got to be whole and healthy to take care of ourselves and one another. That's the root of the love that permeates the struggle for justice. When we gather again and the day is coming, let's come outside and breathe the air in this space. In the meantime, stay safe. If you haven't already, get your vaccine. Join the over 200 million that have. Let's finish the work of vanquishing this virus and move on together. Grace and peace. And see you in worship this Sunday. Deborah Northern has a good word for us.